Welcome to the Daily Opa. This is Beast Mode, Lebanon. When coming to the Middle East, you're gonna find that Lebanon is a place like no other. And for the adrenaline junkies, or those who love to live it up, this place really has it all for you. You're gonna be, uh, I don't wanna say it on, uh, on video, but you're gonna be anxious there. You're gonna be very, very uh, scared. Has anyone ever uh, shat themselves in the sky? Shot? Shat. Shat? Pooped. Poop. Shat. <laughs> Poop I don't in know. The sky. As far as I, I, I know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of them. If you see this place, you're gonna wish you're gonna wish to live here. You can find everything from drifting in supercars to paragliding over the beautiful blue sea. And the time I went paragliding was with my good friend, Raja. This is what will be happening. Run. Run, 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 run. So Raja owns a sushi restaurant in Hatahedic called Tatsu. And yes, he's a certified adrenaline junkie. Okay, I'm talking Game of Thrones. Come on, boy. I must admit, at first, I was squeezing my butt cheeks tightly together so I wouldn't embarrass myself, okay? So I wouldn't in my pants. But once I was in the sky, everything changed for me. Our Mr. Tofi here, he's a bit uh, afraid. Don't be afraid. As I told you, we are flying here from 20 years now, okay? Okay, 20 years. Yeah, so... You need to help him on the takeoff. Okay, okay, so he said, basically, run. That's my only thing, right? You, the only thing you need to do. Okay, it's not too easy. <laughs> run! Run, Tofi! Go! Go, go! Run, 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 run! Pull, 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 pull! Go! Go, Tofi! <laughs> 20 years of magic. Paragliding over Lebanon is one of the most breathtaking, magical things a person can do. Okay, for reals, the views itself is worth the visit. Whenever you've been beast moding all day, a place I recommend going afterwards is Strada 51 in Madam Chaya. It gives you a lot of uh, power. Okay, Strata 51 is the only place that serves ginseng coffee. Yes. Yeah. What is Strata 51? Well, it's basically a coffee plus alcohol bar. Okay, so they serve up specialty drinks of coffee and alcohol mixed together. And being that I'm pretty much addicted to anything that's bad for my health, Strata 51 really knows how to combine my two favorite poisons in a way that makes this place a blissful, joyful experience. You want to taste it? Uh, taste some. It's espresso martini. Yeah. Oh, this is not bad either. Yeah. The other thing I love about this place is the crowd they get. Okay, for example, street magicians. It's a video. Yes. Oh, so I should not pose? Ace of Hearts, you said? Yeah. Ace of Hearts. Love you. Ace of Hearts. 
Yeah? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Three of spades becomes the jack of clubs and Whoa. returns. This happens. Whoa. I keep the top and the bottom cards. Amazing. Incredible. Thank you. Incredible. This is this without the cards. Do the movement without the cards. Bring it back. Okay. And these two. This For me, Strata 51 is one of those places where you go and feel like you're part of a family. Okay, yes, probably because you're seriously up from all the caffeine and booze but really all jokes aside it's the place itself <laughs> Lebanon is famous for its nightlife, but if you want to go beast mode, I recommend you checking out the underground scene. I've been to a few underground clubs in Lebanon, but one of the most intense experiences came from a heavy metal concert. <laughs> I'm Sawir, I'm organizer of metal events in Lebanon and uh, one of the founders of Groove Machine Entertainment. We host metal shows like Beirut Metal Fest. I thought it was really cool to see the old school Lebanese metalheads introducing the younger generation to their passion. Basically, there are metalheads in Lebanon in the 80s era. We speak Arabic English. But at the end of the day, I really come back to Lebanon for the eats and the people. Not for the arak or pretty ladies or hashish. No, I come back again and again because Lebanon has some of the best dishes and best people that you're gonna find in this whole dang world. Sauteed so vegetables inside. You can see them, check, it. check them out with spicy sauce, mm. sprinkle sauce. It's a bit spicy. Yeah, well, look, sit down and eat. Okay, so there you go, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations of what beast mode thing I should try the next time I'm in Lebanon, just comment below. Meshi, Willamesh, Meshi. Meshi.